All right, today is another uh, 100 degree day, super hot. It's in the middle of July. And where did the bass go? Where are all the bass at? Um, today's video, we're gonna explore that. We're gonna put a camera down in the water and see where all these bass are hiding at. So uh, That's stay tuned. What it looks like on top of the water. Looks pretty dirty, but I think you guys are gonna be uh, pretty surprised of uh, how clear you could see under the water. In the middle of summer, you got really hot days. The bass are feeding a lot less often than normal. So these bass are basically biting on reaction strikes. Um, they're not feeding quite as much, so this means they're not striking as much. And when they do, they make it count. My favorite reaction setup is a plastic worm. Uh, either a Senko or somewhere around a seven inch uh, worm on a Texas rig. This is why you gotta have a fast presentation and on a reaction strike. They gotta just barely see that thing and not know what they're striking. Nights and afternoons will be the best time to fish in the middle of a hot summer. These fish come out more when the water cools down and when there's more shade. So when they're feeding uh, is one bite and a reaction is another bite. A reaction bite is when they're actually not hungry and they bite on a reaction on their instinct. And when they're feeding, their bellies are empty and they're actually hungry and they're looking for a meal. And that's the two difference between a reaction strike and just a normal feeding strike. In the hot summer days like this, don't forget that the bass are very lethargic during the daytime, but when it turns night or super early morning, they do a lot of heavy, heavy feeding. So now we know the difference between reaction strikes and when they're feeding. 